It's Mantler, the man with antlers. He tosses evil doers like a chef tosses a salad. He headbutts criminals like a righteous goat. And he gives bad guys hard to follow directions to banks. <laughs> oh, boy. George, long day tomorrow. Turn out the light. Mantler only turns out evil doers' lights. Yeah, but after that, he goes to sleep, right? Mantler never sleeps. His roommate must be thrilled. Why do they put these factory outlet malls so far away from everything? That's why they call this bargain hunting. George doesn't get shopping. Don't you want to buy things? George only wants the new Mantler comic, issue 107, Mantler's Difficult Decision, with special appearances by Gail, the gal with a tail. Molten lava, well, that's just great. Mantler would make still. Hot <laughs> burn out, blister, oh, singe, no! Maybe George could toss the girls over, same way Mantler tosses evildoers out of Jungle Tropolis. Is anyone else a little tired of hearing about a certain comic book? George is tired in issue 102. Check the map for a shortcut. Hmm. <gasps> Mantler always says, you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. <laughs> you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. Happy friends. <laughs> Mantler's antlers start twitching when he's going the wrong way. Ow! But George has is a leg cramp. No more Mantler! My feet hurt because I didn't get to shop for new hiking boots. Sure wish George looked at that map. Sure wish George knew what Mantler's difficult decision is. Sure wish George... Wow! A falling star! Aw, pretty. George wishes a star would fall every night. You say a big fiery rock crushed your house. All right, where did this rock come from? The sky! Uh, that sky? How'd you guess? Sounds a lot like the falling star George saw last night. First one to see a falling star gets their wish. Did you wish for anything? Aw, oh, George should have wished for the new Mantler comic book instead of a star to fall every night. Every night, huh? <laughs> Interesting. What are the chances of a house that small being hit by a shooting star? George's wish came true, another one would have fallen last night and somebody would have seen it and... <laughs> made the wish. Hey, sorry I didn't get a hold of you. I've been wiring the games room with surround sound all morning. Where did this all come from? I stayed up last night waiting for George's shooting star and blood out! Oh, hey guys, help yourself to the swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> Last night's shooting star destroyed the gorilla's soccer field. George, do you know what this means? Uh, someone's gonna have to teach them basketball? It means, thanks to your wish, stars will fall every night until someone wishes for them to stop. <laughs> That's a relief. Finding basketball shoes to fit a gorilla is impossible. Later that night, Hey, that must have been the star. Ooh, I hope it didn't hit Mongoose's swimming pool. <laughs> the hippo held spot's been destroyed! That's not fair. I had a yoga class. Dudes, check me out! Yo, someone chipped Louie's ride. I kind of saw that star last night. Couldn't help myself, sorry. But look at this baby! Video console in every seat and... an onboard frozen yogurt dispenser! Oh, termite and earthworm swirl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have we forgotten we're trying to stop giant fiery meteors from destroying the jungle? But look at all the cup holders. <sighs> I'll sit up tonight with my dad's telescope and straighten this whole thing out. It 
it's not what you think. Satellite TV brings us weather reports and, um, news of... What time is it? My soap opera is about to start. Everybody out. I don't want you to see me cry. Okay. I guess it's up to me to handle this once and for all. Gee, Magnolia, glad to see you took care of things. I couldn't help it. A walk-in closet with robotic shoe storage? With temperature control and a frozen yogurt dispenser. <laughs> Someone has to show a little backbone around here. Hmm, well, that leaves out the slugs and worms. I meant me. I'm gonna wish for these stars to stop coming tonight. I'm the only one with any willpower around here. I'm the mayor of Banana Mountain! Whee! <laughs> and so, night after night, and falling star after falling star, no one in the jungle had the strength to stop them. George, you got us into this. You're going to have to get us out of it. Oh, it's that bad, huh? <laughs> Must stay awake. Must wish for shooting stars to stop and not frozen yogurt. Mantler? Hello, George of the Jungle. It is I, Mantler, the man with antlers. You look tired. I know all about tired. Remember when I fought the gazelle twins? Who knew there were three of them? Oh, sure was a great comic. Would you... Happen to have a copy of the, the latest one? Sorry, sold out. The only way you could get one would be if you had a, I don't know, a magic wish or something. <laughs> oh, can you just tell George what your big decision was? It was about responsibility. I think you know something about that too, George. It was my best issue ever. Well, I'm off to fight for steadfastness and responsibility. Maybe get a burger. Best issue ever. No. Best issue ever. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Oh. George wishes for... Oh, Mantler and... George, no! Ape, what are you doing up here? And where'd you get those cool antlers? I'm not Ape, George. I'm your conscience. Wow. Where'd George's conscience get those cool antlers? George! As your conscience, we demand that you wish for no more shooting stars. Boy, bossy conscience. George! Are you having visions of everyone but me? Wish wisely, George. <gasps> I should mention that issue 107 is probably my best flight sequence ever. And the puppy I save is adorable. What does George do? What does George do? <laughs> George will wish for the new man. Mandler. Mandler. George wishes for. So, George, how did it go? Yeah. It went okay. Yeah! yeah all right. We knew you could do it. No more wishing stars from now on. Actually, not just from now on. What do you mean? Uh, George wished he'd never seen Shooting Star in the first place. But that would undo everyone's wishes. My closet! <laughs> 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 George sort of feels sorry for the animals. Uh, it's all for the best. Probably. Maybe one of them will see another shooting star someday. <laughs> hey, Chef, what you got there? Is that... <gasps> that looks like a genie's magic lamp! <laughs> Wait a minute. Shep, 
That means you have two more wishes. <laughs> life in the jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction. <laughs> And between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Um, that natural. Good work, George. Ah! Ursula set river free! No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed him! And Ursula destroyed baby Sloth Valley! Ah! George tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George. That's a staring contest. Paper beats rock? That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Tag. George tells Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula. And so is that. It sure. Ah! Now we fight! What? Wait, may I suggest oh, a jungle vote? Oh, instead, oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The sacred jungle vote, where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not wanted. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals. want much help today. George think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. Can I ask you for a mani-pedi, or would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. Huh, good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just lying there. 
Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on! Bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am! Savage me! Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm. Cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The river of bats, the banana peel road, the itchy nostril caves. Yep, this look like place. George traveled much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula right, George helped too much, animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George need Ursula help! Ah! Ah! Oh! Jungle animals need Ursula help? Ah! If Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? Wait! George realized Jungle need George and Ursula. And George sorry. Whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed. Devenomed weaklings, those fleshy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula will teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs, and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. <laughs> No use ketchup! No! Like this! <laughs> George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Who wants to fight? 
You call that a haymaker, fancy wings? Ursula really makes jungle wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howl, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, Ace. George, help. Helping Ape not count. In the jungle, it was, it was, nothing is more heartwarming than the love between a boy and his dolls. Huh, strange. Somebody keeps stealing inside part of banana. Go get the banana! Go get the banana! The top of HQ has been destroyed! Who did it, Corporal? An elephant! The one belonging to George! King of the jungle! <laughs> Good job, Shep. One last throw. Aw, who's cute? Aunt Eater is. Are you ticklish, Aunt Eater? Shep, Torch played with you all morning. Now it's Aunt Eater's turn. Shep, it's not nap time. We have to take this little guy home. Hmm. There you go. I'll bet your mom has a nice warm batch of ants at home. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Baby ant eater, George told you to go home. Oh, George sucker for big eyes. In life and in art. George will keep him as a pet. Huh? George, you already have two pets. And you have a hard enough time taking care of them. But he'll be a good playmate for Chef. <laughs> Chef, play nice. This little fella's part of our family now. George will call him Chef. Uh, George, that name is taken? Oh, right. Then how about Little Shep? <laughs> is this really necessary? Anteater needs to rest his little paws. <laughs> Let's go, Shep. <laughs> Whoop, we can't forget Little Shep. <laughs> George and Shep and Baby make three. Help! Help! Stairs, Shep! Stairs! Help! Oh. Oh. Shep, be more careful. Little Shep! From now on, Little Shep comes with George on all rescues. We want to see the little baby. Aww. Shep, can you move a little bit? You're blocking this cutie. We got you some treats. 
and a pretty collar, and a sweater for those chilly jungle nights. Aw, he likes you. <laughs> oh, you brought him back. Hey, let go! Oh. Hey, I think little Shep wants a snack. Okay, but just hey. one. Oh, Shep! Are you okay, George? George, fine. Think I'll go to doctor and. Get a new shoulder. Yay! We'll babysit Mr. Cute Stuff. We will? Yes! <clears throat> okay, sweetie stuff. Time for a scrubby scrub. <laughs> we got soap in our eyes. I can confirm that. Ooh. Must be why he's so cranky. I know what'll relax him. A jungle lullaby. Something for little Shep's teething. Ah, I suggest good old fashioned hypnosis. Rubbish. He just needs a little numbing gel. I'll prove this works. I'll prove it doesn't work. Well, I'll prove this doesn't work. See? I am at your command. I am at your command. Oh, here. This one says baby medicine. Uh, let's see. May cause drowsiness. Oh, well, that wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> open up. <laughs> Just open your mouth like this. would never do that. It's true. He's evil. George can't hear you. George can't hear you. Also, can't smell you. George, oh. take your fingers out of your nose and listen. Wait. What's that sound? Hmm. It's either a parade or an attacking army of ants. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I love parades. There's too many of them! Shep will rescue us. Go get him! Oh, my God. 
Scrooge is proud of you. Oh, you too, little chap. There you go. Here's your mommy. Oh, you are so grounded, young man. Good doggy. <laughs> the jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George, have idea to keep zebra safe? There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape, right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh. George, no a proud of George. This is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? That you dream wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? Nah, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating, I need a present, stat! Just think, Chicago. Think, or you're dead! Yes, fondue set! metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year. Just add in same-day shipping and... How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni. You don't understand. My mother is... Let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it! No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, Ape? George's busy! George? George! No need, now. George right here! What? How? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too! George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! 
from a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey! Put George down! George not toy or dope! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing <laughs> Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey! George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please! We need your help to stop Dr. Chicago! Now, George, this time we can just... <laughs> Now really no do bad stuff! Wow! I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. I mean, really, does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! Japan? Oh, us now? Ha! If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Trade. Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Aseto jungle no nyuga suru. Hey! That looked like. Kore yappa dare da! Nisemon da! Okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain! George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey, stop! It's not snack time! Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> <sighs> okay, people, time to raid the D-list. Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! Oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. <laughs> How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. <laughs> that tickled unexpectedly. Good news! George, back! <laughs> George, think of playing this time! George, draw it in box! Uh, what was I really expecting? Plan step one! Defeat Doctor! Get away from that! Cuspid! Hey! George, no finish playing inside! 
right here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, my God. George, have bones again! And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then were returned to sender for a full refund. Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh, no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. <laughs> George? 